All right, we're gonna put the soft tissue material around this, this implant uh, analog in here. First, we need to put the separator, put some separator on so it doesn't stick to the VPS. This particular one is by GC, I'm just called multi-sep. So I'm just gonna paint it in. I don't want any puddled or anything, so I'm gonna dry it, air dry it just a little. Then the particular material that we're using is called Ginger Fast Rigid. Okay. And uh, uses a regular VPS tip. And I'm gonna, I wanna make this a little bit wider. So I'm gonna cut the end partially off so it'll dispense a little more material. This particular stuff flows pretty good. Try and get this in there without having any voids. And I want to build it up around the analog. I'd like it to not run into the adjacent teeth, but it tends to do that. And so after it's set, we will cut it so that it's not overlapping the other teeth because this flows, I want to keep moving it for a little bit until it starts to set. Then after it's set, I'll take a nice sharp Bard Parker blade and I'll cut it in the proximal areas to expose those adjacent teeth. And then we're done. Then it can be boxed and poured up. We'd like to try and keep this smooth so that it can be taken out of the model and placed back in accurately as needed to make sure that when we're uh, doing the implant analog or whether abutment, whether it's a custom abutment or a stock abutment, that it's fully seated. And when it's down in that soft tissue, sometimes you can't tell, so you'd like to be able to remove it.